Okay, in this video I am going to show how to install the lap timer uh, on a Tyrannus X9e. The first thing we need to do is uh, launch a web browser and go to uh, github.com slash jcauger slash opentx dash lap timer. And from here you'll be able to read some information about lap timer. Uh, you know what all the different configuration parameters are, how to use it, etc. But what we're interested in here is the link that says releases. Right now it says three releases. Uh, I click right there and you should get the latest release. Uh, at the time of this video that uh, release is 1.0.0 and I'm going to go ahead and download the source code as a zip file. And uh, from there we're going to open up that file that we just downloaded. Uh, on the Mac, it automatically unzips. Uh, you may need to do something different on uh, Windows in order to unzip the file that you downloaded. So now that we have this downloaded, now what we need to do is turn the Tyrannus on in its mass storage mode. Uh, so I'm going to take both trims and put it to the center. Press the power button. And now I'm going to connect my USB. And the Tyrannus should now be in mass storage mode. And uh, right here, I have my two disks, Tyrannus and uh, No Name. So we're going to copy to No Name. That is the SD card that is in the Tyrannus right now. Uh, what we need to do is in the downloaded zip file, there's a BMP folder and a lap time folder inside of it. Just simply copy the lap time folder over to the BMP folder of the SD card. Uh, so if we look at the BMP folder now, you can see there's all kind of model images, uh, but there's also a lap time folder, which includes a couple files in there. Uh, so, sorry about that, uh, collapse the BMP. Now, also in the zip file, uh, there is a scripts directory, which has a telemetry directory and that corresponds to your SD card. There should be a scripts directory uh, and a telemetry directory. So let's go ahead and copy this laptimer.lua over to the telemetry, uh, the scripts telemetry directory. And then one more thing needs to be done. We need to take the sounds uh, for lap time and put it in the sounds uh, in your particular language in my case English, I'm going to drag and drop this lap time directory on there. And uh, that is it for the installation of uh, lap timer. So let's go ahead and eject these two disks. Give it a second. And uh, now we can turn our attention to the Tyrannus. I'm going to go ahead and unconnect the uh, USB cable. And um, let me zoom in here a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and exit. Welcome to OpenTX. Disarmed. And I have a simulator model set up. And uh, that's what we use to play with the uh, lap timer with. So the lap timer works as a telemetry script because uh, the telemetry uh, scripts have access to the LCD and it runs uh, whenever a model is run and it does not require any specific switch setups. And that's one of the things I really wanted to do with this lap timer was make it easy to use, easy to install, and not uh, interfere with whatever type of switch setups you may already have on your radio. Uh, lap timer does require one switch and uh, you know that is to indicate that a, a lap has just been completed. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and configure this. So we're going to go into the menu and uh, I already have my model profile selected. So the telemetry script is the very last page or the telemetry setup, I'm sorry, is the very last page. So instead of paging through it, we could just press and hold page 
and we go right to the telemetry page 12 of 12. Now, again, the uh, pages that you define are at the very bottom of this list, so instead of scrolling down, all you have to do is scroll backwards, and you'll go to the bottom of the list, and then we can scroll up. I'm going to set the lap timer up as my telemetry screen number one. So I choose uh, the non entry, and I'm going to change it to script. And I'm going to come over here and choose lap timer. I'll press exit, exit again uh, to get into the telemetry pages. Press and hold the page button. Now, this is the screen that comes up initially whenever it's the first time you ever run lap timer. Uh, it realizes that there's no configuration uh, for it, so it asks you some basic uh, questions. For example, the throttle channel, uh, what you want to have your lap switch set as, uh, you know, if you want to speak better or worse, uh, speak lap number, and uh, beep at half lap. Let me explain these real quick. Throttle channel is pretty simple. Uh, however, we do look at the channel output instead of the actual throttle stick. Uh, that is because you might have uh, kill switch enabled or you know various things that might control uh, your throttle output. I want to know whenever the quad itself is getting throttle input. And uh, that's how we're going to start our race once the lap timer is ready to go. So we look for the throttle channel. And you can change any settings by pressing enter and uh, you know then using your plus and minus keys. Uh, for us, I believe it's channel one. Uh, lap switch, again, you can press enter and uh, you know cycle through the switches. Uh, I like using the SH switch, which is a momentary switch uh, right up here on the X9E. So you can just press it real quick and it springs back. Uh, it's also known as the trainer switch but uh, I use that for my lap timing. Speak better and worse. Uh, whenever you get done with a lap, it looks at the prior lap and determines, uh, did you do better than your prior lap or did you wor do worse than your prior lap? And uh, it will tell you. It will say lap two better, lap two worse. So you get some type of idea of how you're doing. Uh, speak the lap number. Uh, that's why you said lap one, lap two. You could turn that off, and uh, whenever you hit the lap switch, uh, if, if you have speak better, worse on, and lap number off, it'll just say better, worse, better. Uh, you know, and of course you can turn those on and off, and uh, beep at half lap. Let's say your last lap was 60 seconds. Uh, whenever you get 30 seconds into this lap, it will issue a long beep, and that will give you the ability to determine, hey, am I doing uh, better or worse than my previous lap uh, at the halfway point. If you notice that uh, you hear the beep and you're far beyond the halfway point, you're doing a lot better. If you notice the beep and you're not yet to the halfway point, you're not doing quite as good. So this is all configured. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and press the exit. And we are now at the normal page uh, that will be displayed whenever you come into the lap timer from here on out. If you ever do want to get back into the configuration uh, from, from the race setup, all you have to do is hit the menu button and you'll go back into the configuration screen again. So here we're going to define how many laps we actually want to run uh, on this given race. I'm going to go ahead and say five laps. And again, just use your plus and minus. And when you have the appropriate value, uh, press the enter. And again, this is a simulator profile. Uh, it's waiting for start. I'm going to go ahead and arm my quad and I'm going to give it some throttle. So here you'll see the current time of the current lap. Uh, the difference from this lap and the last lap, uh, the, last lap uh, the average lap time, and also what lap you're on and how many laps you're going to be running. So here we are at, uh, let's give it 20 seconds. Lap. Right about there, I hit my lap. Uh, so over here, it lists the laps that you've completed. Uh, my first lap was 20 seconds, and, or 20.26 seconds. Now that beep right there came at 10 seconds because it was half of my prior lap. Tells me I'm at the halfway point. Lap two worse. Lap two worse. Uh, my first lap was 20.26. My second lap was 21.13. Listen again for the midpoint. Now I'm going to go ahead and say I did this one really fast. Lap three, better. 
notice the difference. It was 6.36 seconds less than my previous lap. Got my average down to 18.72. I'm going to do another good lap. Lap four, better. This again was, you know, 2.78 seconds better. And this one's going to be a fantastic lap. Lap five, better. Okay, so now we're at the post-race stats screen. It shows that I finished five of five laps. Uh, my average lap is 15.2 seconds. For a total race time is 75.98 seconds. And it lists the individual laps over on the right. Uh, you can use your plus and minus keys and uh, choose one of these options. Uh, whenever you hit the save, it creates a CSV file on your SD card called laptime.csv. It contains the uh, date and time of the race the lap number, uh, the total laps that you're going to run, the um, lap time, and there's a provision in there for the average throttle during that lap, but it does not function yet on the 1.0 release, so it is zero in the CSV file. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know, disarm. disarm my quad like I normally would do at the end of a race, and I'm going to save this race. Race saved. So it takes me back to the waiting for race start again. Uh, you know, it assumes that the next race is the same as the first. Uh, but if you do want to change that, you again can hit the menu button and go back up to the race configuration screen. Uh, for example, let's say we're going to run eight laps. Waiting for race start. Hard. Uh, here I go. I'm running. I get a real quick lap, lap done. One. Uh, I get a real quick second lap, lap done, two, and unfortunately, Disarmed. I just crashed. Uh, so I was not able to finish this particular race. The lap timer is still going. Uh, I did not have it detect the throttle quit or you know disarmed because you might very well hit a bump, uh, hit the ground, and disarm your quad and be able to take off again and finish that race. So the lap timer does not stop. But that doesn't matter. Uh, I completed two of my eight laps. Uh, all I have to do here is press the exit button, and it canceled the current lap. It kept my two completed laps. Uh, it tells me I finished two of eight laps. And again, I have the ability to save and discard. Uh, and in the CSV file, remember that it has the lap number as well as the total lap count. So with this record, or with these two records, you'll actually see uh, lap one of eight, lap two of eight, and you won't see a three, four, five, six, seven of eight uh, because they, they did not exist. So I'm going to go ahead and save this race, race saved. and we're waiting for another race. And uh, that in short is uh, how to install, how to configure, and how to use uh, the lap timer for OpenTX.